Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of French Auction Portal in Toronto Shares. We're going to have a look at an auction by Auction House Marc Labarbe. They have this small auction of musical instruments, about 64 lots there that we can go over. Um, and we're going to check it out basically and see if there's anything interesting. Looks like buyer's premium is 26.4%, so that's the bit that you pay on top of the hammer price. Um, this particular auction is finishing on the 12th of May, which is tomorrow. I'm a bit late to the game at the moment because I've been very busy. It's the 11th today, so by the time this goes up, it'll probably be just about already starting the very early morning of the 12th. So bear that in mind. I'll put a link in the description as always. Uh, as I say, this is a French auction, so check all the terms and conditions, shipping, import, export, CITES restrictions, all of that fun. Um, before we get started, I'd just like to say if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing because it really does help and it'd be much appreciated so yeah let's just crack on really um we've got 64 lots so not too bad if you've been watching these videos recently you'll know that interon shares keeps on trying to penalize anyone that uh uses a translating device for some reason i don't know why it's doing that but that's what they decided to do so we're going to try and make do and i'm going to try and learn to uh read french a bit better so that's uh that's what i'm going to do that is my plan. So we've got uh, a violin. I think this is saying end of the 18th century and the school of Ficker in Mark Newkirkin. There are a lot a number of uh, restorations. So it looks like it's got a German bow accompanying it, I think. So let's uh, let's see. Let's look at the pictures. Looks quite interesting from the front. Also looks fairly interesting from the back. These are a bit out of focus, these uh, photos, but... I think we get the general idea, 1400 to 1600 euros there. There's the bow, possibly two bows, is that? Yeah, it looks like there's two bows. Fairly interesting as well. I think that's quite an interesting uh, lot that uh, I've said interesting quite a lot, <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, shame that the photos are so out of focus, but that is actually potentially quite a nice uh, violin and some nice bows. So 1400 to 1600, I think that is okay. Right, French uh, violin, end of the 18th century. It's got, uh, not 100% sure what that is saying, but uh, 354 length of back there. It's kind of an interesting figure there on the back. These photos a little bit better than the other ones. Yeah, fairly interesting. Uh, violin there, six to eight hundred euros. So, yeah, not too bad. Another French violin, end of the eighteenth century, three sixty. Looks like it uh, needs a bit of TLC. Nice scroll. I think it's trying to say that it's got had some worm and other things going on. But yeah, another interesting violin, six to eight hundred. So. So far, quite an interesting auction. Violin, German school, kind of turn of the century, 1900. Nothing super crazy there, but uh, equally not too bad. 250, 300 euros seems a fair estimate. Another violin here with a label, Klotz Mittenwald. 355 once again fairly interesting 150 to 180 it's not bad we've got a cello here Mirkor 1920 it's got a Strad label there looks fairly standard I think they're trying to say that there's possibly looks like a soundpost crack on the table Three to three and a half thousand euros, though. So interesting. Three quarter Mirkor violin there. With a, I think they're trying to say a, a student bow comes with it. Mirkor violin there. Label of Paul Boucher. Two hundred fifty to three hundred. Looks like a not particularly great quality French violin. Looks like we're missing a. A lot here that's gone. French violin, 19th century Lupo school. Quite a nice head on that. 
1200 to 1500 very dark photos uh, cello by them Morizon pair three to three and a half thousand yeah well, quite a nice head on that again French violin bow school of Louis Bazin it's got a taut mark on it once again quite a nice bow six to eight hundred there's some quite nice stuff in this auction so far viola bow here 19th century beginning of 19th century school of Peugeot amaret wood uh, the stick needs a bit of restoration but eight to nine hundred interesting bow French violin end of the 19th century school of Colonel 359 length of back quite a nice uh, varnish nice back on it yeah, I think that's fairly interesting. Six to seven hundred uh, euros on that. A few more bows here. Uh, German school bow. I think it's saying it's possibly got some parts which are French there. Five to eight hundred there. Okay. Violin bow Pajot. Interesting. Eight to ten thousand euros there. Need a bit of work. That's a bit of an interesting head. The cello bow there by uh, Charles Nicholas Bazar. One thousand to uh, fifteen hundred on that. Mandolin Luigi Salcedo. 60 to 80, it's about right. Not very exciting mandolin there, unfortunately. Vila Rue by Pimpar or Hurdy Gurdy, 5 to 700 euros. See quite a lot of these. This one doesn't look extraordinary. It's interesting enough, but nothing too outrageous. It's a piccolo here. Another piccolo. Fairly standard. A few others here. Another piccolo there, anonymous French. Soprano there by Moek. Flagellet. Kind of fife. And a flute here. Another flute. Or parts of and the flute. Another flute here. Simonin. Another flute. Quite a lot of quite nice flutes here. Metal flute there. Flute, another flute, Thibaville, Heroa, Piccolo there, another flute, lots of flutes, wooden flutes and metal flutes, a whole load of different ones, it's like a flute, uh, interesting pictures on this one, Conrad Molenhauer. Another flute there, the wooden flute, a few more, it's a Mollenhauer flute there, and Vanotti flute, more flutes there, yeah definitely quite a lot of uh, more flutes than I've seen for quite a while. Let's see what else? Do we have any more flutes? Yep, why not? Another Godfrey and June flute. Another flute here. 
Bethany CBCO Boston. Okay, bits of flutes there. Another flute. Let's see, better quality here. Buffet crampon flute there. Let's see. Flute Bohem system. Buffet crampon. I'm getting to the better quality flutes here. A bit out of my depth here. Lewis Lott flute three and a half to four thousand. Mahilon flute there. Three to four thousand there. E. J. Albert flute. Four and a half to five there. Thibaville four and yep, that's Palasander. Wow, nine to ten, Lewis Lott, Paris. 9 to 10 clarinet by Jean Martin 50 to 60 the older clarinet saxophone tenor saxophone voiced Maurice the saxophone Selma 1500 to 2000 what all of the people want a nice Selma one an accordion by Delap organ tone yeah, so a bit of a random auction with some pretty interesting flutes of a high level and actually some interesting violin family instruments and bows. So, yeah, pretty pretty curious auction, actually. Definitely worth looking at properly. That was a very brief kind of uh, overview, not too in-depth because uh, I've left it a little bit late, to be honest, and the auction's happening tomorrow, so it was a very brief overview, but I'll put a link in, link in the description. Check it out and see what you think. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.